What's up guys, this is Square2448 with a Farming Simulator 2017 video and today we will be hauling supply pallets which consist of fertilizer, liquid fertilizer and seed on over to the farm by the farmer's request and today we will be using the older style pickup truck with a gooseneck hitch and we will be using the gooseneck PJ trailers, the shorter one and we will be loading the pallets on the back with the JCB 260 Eco. Let's start this on up and we'll be loading these up and once we get to the farm we will be using the farmer's tractor that he is letting us use which will greatly help us out with uh, not having to haul our skid steer on over there and we are hauling all these from the store parking lot where the farmer has purchased it but does not have the equipment yet to start hauling them himself so uh, we will be loading these up hopefully we could get all of these on and uh, really am excited to use this new JCB skid steer that is in this game it was in FS 15 as a DLC and now it's in this game and that's awesome really glad that they added this in to the game and uh, this is the first time we are using this in 17 and I decided to use a wheel one because the tracks are mainly for off-road and not really pavement type and I really don't want to damage the track so I decided that we will be using this one and we will be using the tie down straps which is also a very cool feature that this trailer has and I uh, really do like that feature that has been added to the new game but uh, the handling in the skid steer is very nice it's on point on turning and overall a great one for us to use and uh, right now we are loading up seed pallets hopefully we will have enough room for 12 pallets not sure if we will but I will make it fit and uh, we could stack some of the liquid fertilizer on top of each other if we have to but uh, we'll see what happens when we get there and a lot of you guys are really liking these videos so if you have any cool ideas let me know in the comments and I'll gladly make a video with your awesome idea because I really do like making farming simulator videos and we'll be loading this up so we got all the seed pallets done which is very good and I'm doing pretty well at loading this do not know what has happened here looks like looks like it has like I'm not sure what happened to this pallet it's disconnect looks like it's just stuck that is very strange oh looks that that is very strange it looked like it was on and then it just somehow glitched off it but that's not that bad of a big problem since we'll load it right back up and I really do like how you have to purchase the seed pallets instead of going up to a uh, already placed pallet and just fill it up so it, it really does increase the realism and the farming and the economic system in this game but uh this skid steer is overall probably one of my favorite ones but the track is also a good one right now we are loading up the solid uh, fertilizer but the farmer wanted both so we'll be taking both on over for him and uh, hopefully none of these pallets slide off but I can't wait to use the tractor he is going to let us use a case tractor which will be a lot of fun because we have not used a uh, tractor forklift in this game but like I said if you do have any cool video ideas let me know in the comments and uh, also a great thing about this skid steer is that the first person does not have the cage and uh, very nice for a good view if you want to do first person and I would do it right now but I don't want to have any of these knocked off because it's a lot of work to uh, load up these but this skid steer is just doing an awesome job and there will be a mod review coming later this week showcasing this truck with the uh, gooseneck hitch that is a uh, a very nice truck and you can get the straps on that too which is very nice and that attacher joint does come off like the semi trucks have the option and a uh, very nice how it has the option like that but uh I think that we'll take two liquid fertilizer tanks on over because I really don't want to run the risk of stacking them on top but uh, I think that we will give it a try actually because we don't want to come back here for two loads and I'm really 
looking forward to the other trailers coming out. That way we could haul these skid steers without putting them onto the large low boys, which will greatly help us out. But I think that we will be able to stack all these on top of each other. We'll give it a try. And if it does work, that will greatly help us out and overall speed up the process. But this looks to be very heavy, full of liquid fertilizer. And uh, I can see why it's very heavy. Probably heavier than the uh, solid one. Let's load it on up. And if you guys have any cool hauling video ideas, let me know in the comments. And I'll gladly do them because I really do enjoy hauling in this game. You could be very creative, and I really do like how you could be creative in this game. We are going to be pushing this pallet. That, because it was hanging off the trailer, and that would be a very big disaster for this liquid fertilizer to fall off as we go down the highway. We don't want any major problems like that, but let's do some first person action. I really do like uh, this. Whoa, you guys could see it very well in here how heavy this is back it on up it looks to be sliding that pallet there but uh, I think that this old truck might have the power hopefully it does because that would be a very uh, big problem and then we would have to go rent a semi truck if it did not this does not we'll uh, pick it up here can we pick it up Ooh, very risky what we are doing Let's see, oh, as I wanted to do it, I hit the other pallet, and it stopped us from doing that. Let's lift it up here, let's give it another try, and uh, we do want to squeeze this on. We won't get the other two way too risky, because uh, this tr old truck, it's old, and hopefully it does have the power. Awesome, we'll push this back just a hair, and uh, we'll tie them down to make sure they won't fall off. And I really do like how we have a tie down stra straps to actually show that the load is being locked. Look at that guys. Very good job by us and uh, well done. Everything went pretty well. Let's uh, do the tie down straps. Tying them down now. Look at that guys. Tying this. Awesome. That's very good. And uh, can we do it from this side? Yeah. Look at that. Is there one in the middle? So, about two straps per each one. And let's see if there's any. Look at that, guys. That's very good. Awesome. Now, we will not be having any problems with pallets falling off. Let's start up this old truck. And uh, look at this. Whoa! Pulling a small wheelie. Come on. You have the power. You have the power. Okay, change of plans, we will be using the in-game semi-truck, since that truck cannot haul this heavy load. But that is fine, because this semi-truck will definitely have the power we need, and it's the smaller version, which is also good. And I did get it to be the same color, which will be also very helpful for us, but I'm sorry that it didn't work. I thought it would, but it looks to me that the truck is just too small and old for it to be able to haul all these heavy pallets but I will make our way now on over to the farm and I really do like doing these awesome great hauling videos and now we are using this very nice semi truck we'll stay in the right lane and then when we do need to switch on over we'll switch to the left lane and then go to that street that we need to go but uh making our way down the highway now look at this guys very nice look at all those pallets that we nicely loaded up that is awesome making our way now and uh, this trailer does not have working lights but the truck does which is very helpful hopefully this truck does not we're gonna have to slow down just a hair because we do not want to cause any wrecks but uh, at least he's turning off that way we could go on over and we'll be switching lanes now because we need to turn way up there and I would rather get in the correct lane now than to not be in it later on. And uh, we're going to have to wait for the traffic to be clear. But I am really enjoying traffic on because it really does increase the realism in these videos. But I will turn here. The coast is clear if you would say. 35 miles an hour for this road. Pretty uh, good speed. 
and to make sure no train is coming. That'll be a whoa. That'll be a very big disaster having all these pallets of liquid and solid supplies go all over. That'll be pretty bad. But I will be pulling in here shortly since we are coming up here on the farm. But we want to go to the bottom entrance. We'll be uh, turning in here and we're going to be putting it in this first building where the other pallets are. And we were able to haul them all except for two, which is fine because that is still a lot of pallets that we did. So we'll turn the truck off. And to make sure that we do not run into any large problems, I will be unstrapping only the ones that we will be unloading. So we'll be unloading these first and making our way down. We'll just do those, like I said, to make sure that none fall off and create a big disaster. But it will be using this case tractor. I did use this in a roadside mowing video if you would like to check that on out. Let's start it on up. Very nice tractor for us to use. And it's a pretty uh, decent sized one, not too small and one not too large, but uh, we'll see how we can use this. But uh, hopefully we could uh, do a pretty good job using this since this is a new piece of equipment that I have not used before. The forks seem to be a little bit farther distance, but I think that that won't cause any problems. Gonna be going in. Look at that weight. Is it? Looks... I'm not sure exactly why. Let's uh, undo this one. There we go. That's why. But uh, let's lift this on up. Wow. I should have uh, got a weight on this. That just shows that this fertilizer is very heavy. We'll put it as low as we can. But uh, the tires are spinning in the back of this. And uh, right now I'm trying to turn without having this fall off the forks. But maybe for the next time we do this, we will definitely be more prepared and ask the farmer to make sure that he has weights on his tractor because uh, we don't want to be pulling wheelies and uh, having the back wheels of this pretty heavy tractor going up in the air but I uh, really do like that realism though when it does showing that these pallets are pretty heavy and that's probably why the old truck did not work but that is fine we'll uh, pull this forward looks to be locked yeah it looks to be locked again or it's just stuck so, but we will undo this yeah so I'm not sure exactly why it's doing this but uh it's not really that big of a problem if you would say but we are having a problem now since there is no weight but I think that we are managing it pretty well even though we are having a problem with that but he be backing this on up and a lot of you guys are really liking these daily content and I really enjoy making daily videos for you guys so I thank you for the support on these daily content that goes up at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time pretty early for all to watch throughout their day let's uh, lift this on up just the hair this is a little bit of a slower process unloading it and that is I'm just going to unlock all of these because that is the problem that we are running into that uh, they're locking them even though it's not strapped on that. The tractor is doing actually pretty well right now. It's not having too big of a problem. We'll be loading these down here and now the farmer will be doing uh, some farming now since he has enough seed to fill up his cedars and that's good. That way he could get his work done and we could do some hauling videos possibly on hauling his grain or other equipment to him since we hauled on over the new uh, challenger tractor for him let's make sure that this is at the correct level looks like it is uh, at the same level but we are not exactly lined up but using the skid steer is definitely much easier so possibly see if uh, we, he could invest in getting a skid steer and uh, we could use it here that would be very helpful for us, or we could bring one over once we get another trailer that has a ramp on it for us. Let's uh, put this down. Doing a pretty good job. We got just under half of them unloaded. And uh, this tractor, though, I kind of like this one a lot. Very old. Not too old, I would say, but 
I kind of like the look of this older style tractor. Let's try to do some first person. Not sure actually. I cannot really see how the uh, fork would go on the pallet. And I don't want to cause any larger problem. So we do not want to do that. But uh, yeah, this semi truck did overall a pretty good job hauling it. But uh, I wish that the uh, old truck did have the power. But it did not. Which we worked around it and still got the job completed here which just shows that the show must go on even when we have problems with our equipment we still got to deliver these loads to make sure that the farmers get their supplies on time but we got four more pallets after this uh, solid fertilizer pallet that we have to unload but uh, using this does take a lot longer since it's a lot larger to a uh, steer and overall, I kind of really do enjoy using these different uh, tractors and stuff. Perfect. We weren't really lined up there, and that's why it wasn't working. But I will do some first person loading it here. Let's turn our beacons on. And you guys will actually see the reflection in the roof. Look at that. That's awesome. And this shed is actually pretty detailed. I really do like the detailed because I really do enjoy giving high quality content each and every day and a farm sim is very uh, helpful on that since the graphics are pretty well we'll uh, be turning our hazard lights on even though we are in here we might have some uh, traffic of other workers coming through we'll unload a few more and then we will be calling it a day a little bit of a longer video a lot of you guys are asking for long ones and I will be trying my best to give you guys longer ones, but uh, I really do enjoy doing these pallet hauling videos. So if you do have any other ideas for these pallets, let me know in the comments and I will gladly do more. And I really do enjoy reading your comments a lot. And a lot of you guys are very positive and uh, really do help me make more and more content with your awesome comments. I really do inspire me to do even more videos than one a day we'll be loading this one but this tractor I'm really glad and uh, also you could get this attachment the fun attachment for the, the forklift through the uh, customization so you don't have to buy this one with it which is also very nice to those who don't want the uh, forklift or you could sell it once you're done with it so you could just use it as a tractor but we have two more pallets here and then we will be calling it a day and they're pretty well but uh let's uh load this oh we don't want to push that one the other one's actually pretty close to the edge so hopefully we don't push that awesome so we have one more after this and then we will be calling it a day but overall today has been pretty successful I wish that the older truck did have the power but uh if you guys have any cool ideas for me to use that uh, gooseneck pickup and uh, truck we could use that for another hauling if it has the power to haul our load but uh yeah I think that uh, that truck will greatly be helpful since we could just haul these trailers back and forth even without a load on it just in case but uh that's like a backup truck if you would call it but uh the job is done we delivered all these supply pallets to the farmer so that he could continue farming i hope you guys really did enjoy this video and like always like comment and subscribe